hello guys okay so um this is going to be a very quick one you know um okay first of all let me welcome each and every one of you once again to the channel and you know if you're a first time visitor please do all to subscribe and you know hit the notification bell so that you'll be a partaker of this amazing project now let's go straight to business you know i was surfing the internet few minutes ago and i came across this prestigious scholarship opportunity yes you heard me right prestigious scholarship opportunity i believe you are going to love it i mean you know the truth is not all scholarships are for everyone because of the eligibility criteria so if the opportunity comes out and you fit in the picture please do well to apply for it that's the reason why we are here we want you all to relocate and fulfill your higher educational goals so guys let's go straight to the screen and let me take you through this opportunity and trust me you're going to love it and i believe most of you will benefit and what i want you to do for me now is that you like the video so that i can reach many people you subscribe if you haven't done that because i know most of you you benefit but you don't want to subscribe i mean it will help you you know be notified when contents come out okay you don't have to keep searching keep searching just subscribe click the notification bell and um when we release a the content they are going to notify you about it okay all right so do that now and trust me watch the video to the end i'll try to be short and quick and um you know precise as much as possible so that you all can you know um benefit from this opportunity let's go to the screen okay guys so as i earlier mentioned you are going to love it so just try and um, watch through to the end so that you will know um, the documents and the requirements you need and also getting to the end i'll explain some key terms you know it's the eligibility criteria is very vague i mean so getting to the end i will break it down and after that you will then notice that most of you are qualified for this particular scholarship i mean if you don't watch it to that part for me to explain to you 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 will give up and you think you don't qualify but in essence most of you will qualify for this opportunity so let's go straight um talent scholarship fund okay if i get it wrong just forgive me um yeah all right so let's quickly we are just going to be very uh candid and straight to the point so the scholarship is the aquarius talent scholarship okay and it's a scholarship scheme designed to attract and retain talent postgraduate level from around the world around the world so each countries all countries no countries exempted okay and they said they are looking for talented graduates and students who want to pursue masters or doctoral degree so the scholarship is for masters and phd and they have universities they are partnering with so they have one they have granada grass lepez leon Minos, minho pedria uh, vilnius and roclo universities okay and including a compulsory mobility at a second a course partner so meaning that you choose your main university where you apply for the program and you will name a second university where you would like to go for an internship okay so it's like um in a school and on vacation you go for an internship at another school so that's the meaning and the, this is the interesting part guys the scholarship is composed of sustenance allowance of 1400 euros a month to cover all your living costs medical insurance and materi materials allowance in addition to the aquas talent scholarship will cover tuition fee okay all your tuition fee is covered so literally go to school for free and also in addition 
the uh, across european university alliance would like to support students with fewer opportunities so this fewer opportunity seems to be a significant term when it comes to this scholarship and when we are getting to the end of the video i'll take the time to explain in details what fewer opportunities means and you will also be supported with 250 euros a month. They said priority will be given to refugees, asylum seekers, students with fewer opportunities. So this, as I said, I will explain into details what it means. And then you will realize most of you are qualified for the scholarship. And applicants with a bachelor's master's degree not obtained from any of the partnering universities. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Now let's proceed. So let's look at the conditions reg um, governing the scholarship. So they will give you your monthly allowance. They will cover your tuition fee and 250 in addition to the 1,400 euros. So it's in total, it's like 1,650 euros a month. Okay. And students with fewer opportunities. Yes. Yeah? So they will support students with few opportunities with 250 euros. As I said, I will explain this term getting to the end of the video. So they are looking at refugees, asylum seekers, students with caring responsibilities. That's um, students with children. So if you're a parent with a child, you are eligible. You just need to provide a birth certificate of your child. Students with disabilities and learning disabilities, students with chronic diseases, and students with fewer opportunities, which I will explain later on. Please note that applicants who already receive a state scholarship can also apply. If you're already on a state scholarship, you can apply and um, you will not be exempted. Okay. However, they are requested to indicate the source of the state funding in the application. Aqua scholarships cannot be combined with other EU funded scholarships. So this scholarship is European Union funded. And if you're already on a scholarship funded by the European Union, you are not eligible to apply. Please. I want you to pay attention to this um, conditionalities. You know, these are the reasons why most people fail to get scholarship opportunities. And I would like you to click on the link up there, as you can see on the screen. I highlighted 10 reasons why most people are not getting scholarship opportunities. And I believe you can learn a lot from it and it will guide you throughout your scholarship search. And also, uh, master students, that's, I mean, they will give you funding that will cover your um, education up to September 2026. Master students, they will give you um, maximum 12, 18, or 24 months. PhD students, up to three years, that's 36 months. To start the scholarship is dependent on admission to the degree. So you need to gain admission to the partnering universities before you can your scholarship can be activated, okay? And the students selected for Accios Talent Scholarship must complete a compulsory mobility at a second Accios Partner University, as I earlier mentioned. That's why you need to watch this video because I explain it step by step so that you don't miss any step, all right? So in addition to your mother university, you need another university where you go for one month internship whether a study period, training, or research stay. And this needs to be highlighted in your essay. So the minimum duration of this mobility is one month, as I earlier said. Okay? And it's amazing, all right? So, I mean, all these things you can read later. Let's move on to the course. That's application deadlines. So the first call, which is for PhD students, have ended. I mean you can note these dates down and put them on your calendar so that next year if you you know want to refer someone for this scholarship you can do that so this first two dates have ended because this ended in may 2023 and this also in july 2023 so our focus is the third call so the third call 
which is only open to master students. So, um, I mean, if you're a PhD, you can note the previous days down. But this particular opening is for master students and will run from April. So, we are in April and end in June. So, we have about April, May, June, about three months to prepare for this scholarship. So, please do well to um, apply. Okay, let's move on. So let's look at the application and selection. There's lots of information here. Okay, so I'll skip this part because we've already looked at the course. Now let's look at the admission requirements. Um, I'm, I'm taking my time, okay? You must be selected or have applied for a master's or doctoral program at one of the Akios universities, as I said. You need to apply for admission to any of the partnering universities first and also you need to meet their admission requirements so i'll show you the university so that you can go there to check their requirements as well yeah it's amazing and i mean it's, it's great okay and you need to meet the language requirement um, which is level B2. So most of these language requirements, if you have a test, that's good. But if you don't have any a test score, it's important you go to your university. And also the link up there will show you how to get a certificate without, I mean, how another way you can prove your English proficiency without a test score. So watch that video. I believe it will help you. Uh, another way is if your previous university study was in English, you can go to that university also for an uh, English proficiency letter. So let's look at the application documents. All documents must be submitted in English or accompanied by an English translation. In the case of translations, please also submit the original documents, okay? So if your documents is not in English or in any other language aside English, you need to use an authorized translator um, to get your documents into English. And in applying, apply with the English and its original language. For the application for the Ecosta talent scholarship fund the translation does not have to be an official translation so as i as this you don't have to pay huge sums of money to get official translation you just need to get any normal translation done so the first document is confirmation of application to the entrance university so the first document you need to provide is that you have applied to any of the partnering universities that's very key you cannot apply for this scholarship without applying to the partnering universities motivation letter you have to enter your motivation letter directly into the online application we recommend that you write in advance you write it in advance maximum four thousand characters okay so please watch the video watch my content on 10 mistakes people makes okay that's prevent them from getting scholarship i explained all these things in there you need a phd research proposal that's for phd students only you need your degree certificate your transcripts recommendation letters again i explained into details recommendation letters in that video so please go to my content it's 10 um, reasons why your scholarship applications are rejected and your, you need your CV as well. It's important you put in a catchy CV, your passport and student with fewer opportunities if applicable. Pl please provide a confirmation according to the categories for students with fewer opportunities under the conditions of scholarship. So as I said, I will explain this term later on in the video and you need a language certificate this and merit meaning that if you have it it gives you added advantage but no compulsory and the selection criteria is here they will look at the eligibility sorry eligibility check that you need to meet all the eligibility requirements and the selection committee will take it up and they award points according to each criteria you meet so if you are part of the eligibility criteria if you are a person with few opportunities if you're a refugee or asylum okay if you have a master's that is not obtained from any of the Akios university they will give you zero or one and according to your academic performance they will give you zero to three okay 
your academic background zero to three, your motivation letter, that's including compulsory mobility. So in your motivation letter, you need to consider the second university and why you think that university is the best for you so in the in doing this you need to go and read about the second university and you need to find areas related to that university that is connected to your program of study okay at your main university so that you can get you can get the connection there this will give you two that's out there uh sorry that will give you zero to two points if you get a good recommendation letter very general so please watch that video you understand general uh recon recommendation letters and supportive recommendation letters you need a cv they will rank you zero to two so depending on the documents you provide they will assign scores and this course will determine who wins the scholarship okay so please do well too do as i've mentioned now let's look at the universities the partnering universities so as as i stated you need to make sure you apply to any of these universities first before you apply for the scholarship and all the links are on the website and you'll get it under the video description so the first university is granada that's the application period okay june to july um that's the second one is grass the third one is um sorry the third one is le pays leon may may north Minho. they have pedia university they have vilnius as well and um they have um Roklo university and all their links and programs and deadlines are also in the document all this you get it from the link i have provided so please make sure you read about the university and their programs and um, their requirements for the purpose of this content and for illustrative purposes let's use granada so i'll select the academic offer all right so here we go as soon as you click on it it will take you to the link so this is university of granada and this is their master's program so you just need to look through to see which one is suitable for you you check their requirements and if you are in i mean they have lots of programs if you are interested you just apply for it make sure you read the university requirements also now if you have any issues pertaining to the scholarship they've provided an email or a link for you to direct your inquiries and anything related this is link for anything related to the scholarship anything related to the university of your choice please you need to direct it to the particular university now this is how the scholarship application looks like it's according to the course okay um so talent equals talent scholarship fund 2024 third call for master students only so this is the ongoing one so you just need to log in or you need to register and more information you click here and these are the these are the past ones okay so please you just need to um, go ahead with it now let me explain the meaning of people with um, fewer opportunities now this is according to law insider okay young people with few opportunities means that young people facing some obstacles that prevent them from having effective access to opportunities okay under the program so that's anything that is preventing you from having effective access to higher education because the program you're looking at is masters or phd so what do you is there are there any circumstances in your life that you think will prevent you from having access to higher education abroad it could be finances and so improving this you need to submit payments of from your parents okay so this so meaning that if i were you um i'll just google um the european union criteria for families who are classified as poor so that you know the amount that uh, your income that makes you be that makes you classify that makes them classify you as a poor person so that you can use the pay slips and the 
bank statement from your parents to prove that okay so economically socially or culturally culturally depending on social cultural background health reasons or disabilities as we mentioned or educational difficulties okay mostly this thing can be financial okay or if the program you want to offer is not in your it's not offered in your country that also can be uh, classified as fewer opportunities now because this scholarship is provided by the european union let's look at the definition of european union for people with fewer opportunities so people with fewer opportunities means people who for economic social cultural geographical or health reasons a migrant background or for reasons such as disability and educational difficulties or for any reasons including those that can give rise to discrimination under article 21 so if i were you again i will google article 21 of the charter of fundamental rights of the european union to check what is there face obstacles that prevent them from having effective access to opportunities under the program so guys if you consider this definition most of you are eligible for this scholarship all you need to do is to find a way to prove your circumstances and you are good to go so please i wish you all the best let's get interactive under the comment session and um, i would encourage you to like subscribe the video and share to your friends family as well for each and everyone to benefit i will see you again soon and i wish you all the best for now bye bye